precious and the holy blood of Jesus. It is clean, it is pure, it is the blood of Jesus. Amen. Without a shadow of a doubt, it is the blood of Jesus. Are you hearing me? It is the blood of Jesus because it works. It has power, not just power, but it is a miraculous type of power. It is a power that cannot be messed with. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus this morning. Amen. It is about the blood of Jesus. It is about the blood of Jesus on this set day. Amen. Jesus is alive and well. Uh, he has risen from the dead. He has risen from the grave and he is still God. You know, sometimes when you fall, you feel as though when you come back, you've lost your identity or you have lost your originality. But guess what? The situation that you've been through doesn't define you and it doesn't determine who you are. You are not what you've been through. Amen. You are not what you have fought. You have not. You are not what you have battled. You are still you filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so this morning, I want us to thank God for life. You know, uh, Sister Latasha, we celebrated Micaiah's birthday. You know, yesterday. I mean, you know, it was on the 15th. But yesterday, we got people together just to appreciate the life that God has given us. Amen. So we just came together to thank Him. And really, when you're coming towards the end of the year, pretty much all you can do is give Him the praise and the glory. All you can do is just thank Him because guess what? You know, some people may have gotten some material things during the year, but they're no longer alive to enjoy it. They spent their times chasing material stuff. But here they are, that they're no longer here. The material things are here. You remember any time you see some of these shootings and these massacres and stuff like that. I remember one of, one of the ones that I was watching on TV, Sister Brenda, good morning. And um, I think it, it, it was one of the church ones, you know, where they had where the gunman had gone into the church and had taken the lives of some people. And he said to Cheryl, it's almost like the Lord was saying to me, Albert, notice that the cars that the individuals own are still in the parking lot. The owners of the cars are inside or they've been taken away dead but the material things are still on the outside some of them will still have the keys in their pockets the houses that they live in is still there and so sometimes we have to prioritize i know that it, it, it might not be like popular or it might not be what you want to do but i promise you it is it is more than he is he he deserves it more you have to appreciate the fact that everybody that you started the year with that is connected to your children your loved ones the preserving power the preserving agent the blood of Jesus has kept and is still keeping everybody alive I was getting ready to come on Sister Cheryl and my wife called me and I thought, you know, I was like, come on, I said, what's going on? I said, watch, Micaiah's trying to clap his hands. You know, trying to coordinate. You know, so she was holding his hands and was clapping and then when she stops, you know, he will try to, but he will miss it, you know. He's still learning. And she, he would try to hold her hands to make it, you know, to, to, to make it, like, you know, to help him. Just watching him grow that one year is, is, is like a major transformation. You have to keep an eye on him now. You have to watch what he's doing. You can literally see him trying to, you know, stand. You know, you, you know that pose that they make where it's like he's trying to push himself up. And you're watching life unraveling before you. And, and, and you're telling me that I shouldn't praise God. I shouldn't lift up the name of Jehovah. I shouldn't thank him that I'm still alive. Sister Cheryl, I know there's some bills that you pay that when you look at the money that you have in your bank account, it doesn't make no sense. But you're going to end the year with no debt. Listen to me. You're going to end the year 
with the blessings and the favor of Jehovah all over you. I've come this far from where I started from. Nobody told me that this road, this journey will be easy, but I've come too far. My God, you have come too far, Sister Roslyn. All the complaints, all the fears, all the troubles that we had, all the things that we didn't think we'd be able to do, the Lord has blessed us and we have been able to do it. And listen to me, it's an encouragement every morning that you need to hear because you have a devil who is 24 hours trying to use his frequencies to bring your demise and to bring your going down. But the God that we serve, He's alive and well. Says the fifth, God bless you. I said the God that we serve is alive and well. And it's like now they're working overtime. You know, sometimes you work overtime because there's some things that you need to get done. You have specific targets. That, how many of you have ever worked overtime before? And you don't work overtime all the time. My God, I'm getting ready to. I'm, I'm, I believe I'm receiving a word. You don't work overtime all the time. Sister Latasha, overtime comes in when there is an assignment or there is an agenda. There is a target that we need to meet. My God, Katola Basia. Don't let me start shouting. Uh, overtime is not something that is done all the time. Overtime comes in when we have sat down and we have decided on a target that we need to meet. And what just now? The hours allocated within the day or within the week or within the month does not permit us to come to that target. So guess what? The normal time frame that we have for this job, we extend it so we can meet the target. And that is the busy season that the devil is in right now. He's working overtime on the Adai family. He's working overtime on the Fraser family he's working overtime on the gale family he's working overtime on the williams family he's working overtime upon every family that is displayed on here because there were some targets that were set from the devil you know by the devil for the agents of the devil and when they're looking at the closing of the month and at the closing of the year they have not been able to accomplish or fulfill that which they set forth to do so now the devil has allocated overtime for his agents to make sure that they hit the target one way or the other but not me minus me minus you minus my children minus your children listen to me your babies will not pick things up to swallow that will mess with their ability to breathe you know when you have babies and children you have to be very watchful they can pick up anything especially in this festive season balloons and all those things you know you you might think it's decoration but the devil can use that to bring harm to your family my god listen in this holiday season you will not experience any disaster there will be no casualty i feel like standing there will be no casualty in your house there will be no casualties amongst your children the ambulance will not know your address because nobody connected to you will be hospitalized in jesus name so latasha you gotta pray like this you know Hey, how many of you remember? I don't know if I ever shared. I don't know if you remember a while ago. Uh, Sister Chad, I don't know if I shared. You know, I said one of, I saw one of my ankles, right? And uh, so that's my wife's um, uh, uh, ankle. Okay? And uh, it was like he was having a conversation with his son. But it was like an argument type thing. I don't know if I, don't know, I, don't know if I shared on prayer mantle. What just now? I don't know if I shared it. But that's, that's the dream. Sister Cheryl, that is all the dream I had. So in my dream, I woke up and I had seen the sheriff said that there was a fight, some sort of, uh, let's say, misunderstanding between father and son. Now listen to me, I know them. If you see the way the father is with the sons, it's just unbelievable. I, you know, he just loves on his children. This is the magic. Watch this now. Watch this now. So a few weeks ago, I'm here and I get a call. And I love this uncle. You know, very, very nice. I mean, he's just there for everybody. So I get a call, and the call is that Uncle Charles has been hospitalized. The devil is a liar. Now, when I had the dream, when I had the dream, 
I thought that it was more to do with the son because it was like, you know, you would think that the parent maybe was trying to tell the son something. He wasn't listening. So that's the dream I had. So I said, you know what? So I told my mother, you know, she said, okay, Albert, let me call him. You will tell him. So I, tell, I told Uncle Charles the dream I had. I said, Albert, thank you so much for sharing with me. So a few weeks later, guess what? He's hospitalized and listen to this prayer mantle. His blood pressure is like when it's over 300. Now, it was so high that the machine was reading an error. They had to do it manually. So I said, the devil is a liar. But then I'm asking myself, I said, God, well, I didn't see that attack. You know, what I saw was just some sort of, you know, misunderstanding. Now, hear this now. The son that I saw in the dream, he's trained to be a medical doctor. Okay? And my uncle had traveled. And what happened was that when he got to the destination, the son saw that, you know, he wasn't looking himself he said you know that let's go to the hospital let them check you at least and he had some sort of miss you know back and forth with the son he didn't want to go he, you know how it is he didn't want to go and he said no daddy you have to go so it's almost like he was forced to go to get his pressure checked and that is when they found out that it was too high so he was admitted god being so good he's out he's okay now listen to this now i saw him yesterday on mikhail's birthday i wasn't even expecting him to come i said i said uncle charles you know, remember the dream that I called you and I told you? It was God that was that is speaking. And said, Uncle Charles, we don't want any bad news, any negative. So please, you need to go and take a break. You've worked too hard for the year. You need to take a break. That's what I told you. My prayer mantle, do you see how God showed it to us? See, he showed it's like a puzzle in bits and pieces. When I caught the revelation and we prayed, because, listen to this now, it was a deaf assignment that was coming upon him. Remember this year, remember? My wife lost an ankle. Remember? And that assignment was looking to come upon him. But because it was revealed, Dr. Nikisha, because we released what the Lord showed us, it still came, the attack still came, but he couldn't take his life. That's why I said, listen, says Dr. Nikisha, I've come past that stage where I argue with anybody about, listen, I'm not fooling with you. I ain't, uh, if you don't believe it, that's your business. I have seen too much happening. I have seen too much going on for me not to know the Alpha and the Omega. We said something when we prayed, and I don't even know where it came from. Dr. Nikisha said, listen to me, those of you with children, they will not swallow any because in this festive season, you know, there's going to be decorations around the schools, you know, the shopping malls. And, you know, you might just turn or you might just look away for a second. And I pray to God that no child connected to you will pick up anything and put in their mouth that will block their airwaves in Jesus' name. Their airwaves. Sorry, not airwaves. Airwaves. It might sound crazy, but that's the season that we're in. This season, listen to me, you have mothers, fathers, picking up babies, children, and shooting, and committing suicide. That will not be your portion, and that will not be my portion in Jesus' name. Are you praying with me? I got sweat in my eyes, sorry, it's burning. Jesus name and the name of Jesus release the goodness of God and the blood of Jehovah release the goodness of God and the blood of Jehovah over that child over that boy over that girl over that husband there will be no division in your house if God has put it together no human being can break and destroy it. my God yes Lord for we wrestle not against flesh and blood I'll be honest with you sister Fifi I, I, I you know I know the scripture but the understanding had evaded me I read it and that's the scripture that I was coming to pray but I said God it don't make no sense because we're talking about blood but here you are saying that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood 
listen to me they try to wrestle with us with you know the things that they do you see the power is in what they do the flesh and the blood am i making sense but we don't come to their level because they've got no power am i making sense they ain't got no power our fight and our authority is superior to anything that they have. We're going to pray for your daughter, but I want you to also pray for her. And I want you to understand, listen, you, you better tell her if, 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 if she wants to, I'll call and pray with her. Tell her that she's got an African brother, I will call and pray with her. You can just email me, give me her details. I want to pray with her she she there's nothing wrong with her whatever has happened whether she thinks it's her fault or whether 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 she's been whether whether she was told is her fault the devil is a liar listen we fight at a higher level now you know remember i've been telling you some of the challenges that my wife has been having in her business she she said to me this morning that she had a dream and in a dream she had gone to the company and the people that came against her remember i told you the story it's like they were attacking her she saw them in the dream that she had this morning they were attacking her i didn't say nothing so i just kept quiet it is god who's not beginning to tell her that these folk who are coming against you it is a spiritual matter it's a warfare issue and you have got to watch this now gird yourself might roll up your sleeves and begin to box begin to wrestle begin to fight begin to call their names out and make sure that they will not terrorize you in jesus mighty name listen to me the bible says for the egyptians that you see today you will see them again no more forever you know that ain't really good english i don't know much but that that don't that because you can't say no more forever it sounds like the same thing but it, it has to be emphasized that sister rosie the egyptians my god that means the people who have made up their mind that they're going to enslave you all the days of your life this morning listen to me i'm praying and i'm using my wife's company and as a point of contact for every single person who is facing a spiritual egyptian or a spiritual giant i am declaring to you by the voice of the elohim and by the voice of jehovah that that egyptian that you see today listen to me by the superior blood and by the authority in the mighty name of jesus you will see them again no more 2018 going to 2019 brother albert is telling you your brother in the lord i've stood with you you have stood with me in prayer i have never lied to you and i've never manipulated you it is not about money it will never be about money but it is for you to stand up and to declare the goodness of jehovah over your life now listen to me as you are getting ready to cross over into listen some people are waiting for the 31st before they start saying stuff there are some things that a seven heart if you don't start if you don't start getting rid of them now trust me when they come to the watch night service they would have already crossed over with they will be too attached to you that you don't have enough time to detach yourselves from them what is the day today today is the 17. between now i'm, I'm issuing a comment between now and the end of the month a seven heart prayer prayer 888 listen to me you you listen everybody under the sound of my voice this is your assignment you better start writing down the things that you don't want to take into 2019 there are some things that listen to me listen to me it is not a two minutes prayer it is not that excitement prayer 888 that is going to get rid of them love is now you better start getting on your knees now you know what they are listen to me don't wait listen we have got to change our tactics i don't know much but last time i checked golden state warriors they've lost a couple of games now no now they're the champions right sister yvonne do you know what has happened somebody the opposition has sat down and has studied their game plan and has seen how they play 
and has worked out a way to counteract their winning formula. And so now, Dr. Nikisha, when they get into the game or they get into the court, the opposition said, I know how you play. So until they come up with a new game plan, they are not going to be as successful as they were in the seasons prior. So Sister Trina, listen to me. It is not about the absence of God. It is about us recognizing that we do the same thing every year. We wait for the 31st. You understand? We wait for the 31st. And then we start declaring. The devil said, you think you, I've been with you for a whole year, 12 months, and you think two minutes of prayer is going to get rid of me? You crazy. You better start cutting off the head of that dragon, of that serpent now. So now listen to me. When you get to that service on watching and wherever you worship, you are going to you're going to stand there and you will feel in your spirit that you have accomplished your goal. And you can bury, you will could you listen, you will conduct the funeral service once and for all. 2019. You start praying, you start declaring into the atmosphere, you start prophesying. Say, 2019, here I come. In the volume of the book, it is written of me. This is who I'm going to be. This is what is going to happen in January. This is what is. Listen, can I can I give you an assignment? Trust me, can I give you an assignment? Prayer mantle. And somebody better email me and remind me of this assignment. Because sometimes I forget. I believe this is of God. Listen to me, Sister Yvonne. You cannot decree and declare if you haven't spent time with God to ask him what it is that you need to decree and to declare. A seven half. Listen to me. What's the day? Day 17. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Three days. I know it's quick, but I'm going to say this. Can we go on a fast? So we're going on a fast Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday night. Write these instructions down and send it back to me on prayer mantle. Friday night. What is what is what is what is Friday's date? Let me go on my phone and check. Hmm. Friday twenty first. Friday night. Okay, Friday night. Ah, Sister Brenda, this is God. You know why? You know, you know how I know this is God, Sister Latasha? Is it the 21st? Remember, when I spoke to you, I think, was it Friday or Saturday, when I told you that, you know, I listened to, is it John, John Ramirez, and he said the devil works with the number 21? You know, down in 21 days? Okay, Friday night, we're going to come on, and listen to me. Everybody, you must have received, first of all, Sister Yvonne, information okay pertaining to that which you need to get rid of in 2018 okay so in the fasting you're asking God through prayer through talking to listen to me if you're at work have your phone handy listen no matter how crazy it sounds put it out on the phone make a note of it and then from Friday, we're going to start from January, February, March, we're going to decree what it is that we need to, because listen to me now, see, uh, 2019 as it is, without you de declaring anything, it's like it's a vacuum of emptiness. There's nothing in there. January 2019, for those who have been decreed anything, is empty. Thank you, God, for bringing this to my remembrance. A few weeks ago, you know, I was, I was just lying around, just really just didn't, I was bored. So I was on YouTube and I was trying to watch some movies. And uh, I saw trailers, hear this now, prayer man too. Sister Trina, it will bless you. I saw trailers for movies that are going to be released in 2019. You didn't catch it. The major studios already have their box office hits ready and we're not even in 2019 they have filled their 
calendars and their diaries with that which they want to happen in 2019 already. They are already set, ready to go. They are ready. So listen to me. Sister Trina, if you want to be victorious in 2019, guess what you're going to have to do from now? Get you a map. Well, no, not a map. Get you a calendar. That's it. Maybe somebody that's for a map. Maybe, maybe you're going to travel. Get you a map. Get you a calendar. A wall planner for 2019. And the targets that you have. Begin to under the under under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Begin to decree the dates. Listen, some of you, the company that you work for, some of you, you're already, you're already receiving war planners for what is going to happen next year in the company that you're working for. Some of you, they give it to you at the end of the year. Some of you, in January, they give it to you. They are prepared. We are not. And so listen to me this morning. This is that assignment. Remember, write it down. What does the Bible tell you? Write down the vision. Make it plain. Write it down. Make it plain. Make it plain. Are you hearing me? We prayed and this is the instruction which has come from the Holy Ghost. Remember, I keep telling you, it's not about money. Don't be fooled. Okay? Don't be fooled by them folk that are always trying to get your money. It's not about money. Don't fall for, don't fall for that rubbish. Are you hearing me? Do not fall for that rubbish. Do not go to those so-called prophetic meetings. Okay, when you get there, they'll sell you, oh, entry, no registration. They don't need registration because they plan to collect your money when it comes to the offering. And they will flow under, under the so-called prophetic unction. They're lying to you. Stay in your house, Sister Amanda, on your knees, cry unto Jehovah. You've been doing it for a whole year. Now is not the time to contaminate yourself. I keep telling you, be very watchful. A lot of them come from this side of the, you know, of the world, this continent. They will be coming because they know some of you are getting ready to get your taxes. It's tax season. So they're coming. They're coming for, for, for their share. They will tell you, the Lord said, go and empty your bank account because they know you've got your tax money in your bank account. So they'll come and tell you, the Lord said, listen, some of you might laugh, but I'm telling you, I know people, victims, who are crying right now. They said, the Lord said, I see that the Lord said, come and sow a big seed. Go and empty whatever you have in your bank account and bring it. The devil is a liar. He tell her, listen, I ain't giving you none of my money. It's my money. God blessed me with it. Tell them my brother Albert said I shouldn't give you none of my money. He'd be like, who is Albert? He said, Albert, that's my brother in Ghana. I pray with him every morning. He said, I shouldn't give you any of my money. Because you's a liar. You's a false prophet. What happens here? Fantastic place. Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them my brother Albert said you was a false prophet. You just came because you know it's tax season. God never told you to come to this country. The devil is a liar. Go back to your country and help them over there. Are you hearing me? Every year I get victims. After they've taken the money, there's nothing I can do for you. Okay? After they've taken the money, there's nothing I can do for you. So stay in your house. Go to the church that you go to. That small church. Go there. The preacher who has walked with you for the whole year. Go there and be a blessing to that man of God, that woman of God. Don't chase these people who will tell you what you want to hear. Okay? Remember our assignment. Somebody please, because I forgot, I've forgotten already. Send it back to me as an email. Okay? Send it back as an email to me. Okay, because, you know, I want us to do this. Let's be practical because we need to start feeling. Listen, my wife has said there's people who are already booking up for next year because the dates are free. You see what I'm saying? 
It's the same thing. If you don't book the dates for 2019, now guess what? The devil will make a booking with you. Are you hearing me? The devil will make a booking for you if you don't make sure that you're occupied. You better occupy every day in 2019. Because if you don't, all the devil will send you on a date to the devil. You will end up in the devil's arms and by the time you realize it, you've already been messed up and your 2019 would have just begun. So you better start learning the wisdom. Be wise. Okay, so we have, a, we have a job to do. Prayer mantle from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Thank you. We never ever struggle this year to pay any of our bills. So I'm asking you, as the Lord has been a blessing to you and the Lord has blessed this ministry through you, you've seen it. That's why I want you to sit back and look at how God has blessed you when you decided to be a blessing to the ministry. Listen to me. Whatever you want to do for God, before the year is out on the 31st make sure that you thank him for how he has kept you okay you see the projects that we do the young girls you know Alima and Raya were here yesterday I told them to come down you know just to be a part of the Micaiah celebration they came they helped you know they enjoyed themselves they, they break off on the 20th okay break up on the 20th then they don't, they don't go back till the 7th i believe of january i'm going to try and do a periscope with them i'm going to tell them to come down because i want them to say thank you to all of you for all that you've done for them okay i want you to see them i'm going to get all the people that we support i want them to come down and i want them to say thank you to you through this medium you have blessed them you have changed their lives you have turned their lives around you put food on their table you put clothes on their back. You put a roof over their heads. That's what you do. If you don't know, that's what you do. Okay, so I'm going to talk to my guy and I'll try and get them all. You know, I know they break up at different times. So maybe we can get Rahel and Alima to come first. I just want them to thank you for everything that you have been doing for them. They are different. When you see them now, it's almost like two girls who never knew each other. They're like sisters, you know. And I always say that Rahel, Rahel bullies Alima, you know. She's like, no, daddy, she, she said this. And I'm like, okay, I can see, you know. And Alima will be like, and Alima was trying to be like, okay. So I said, Alima, I can tell that she, 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 she's trying to, if she bullies her. Yeah, she does. She does. They're so funny, you know. And it's God. It's you. It is where your prayers have reached. And so family, please, let's continue in this vein in the coming year. Listen to me. Listen, even as you're praying to God, fill up some of the gaps in 2019. Tell God what you're going to do financially for our projects. Tell God. Tell God. You will move heaven in a way that you don't even know. I told you this. Listen to me. Do you realize when you read the story of Hannah, Hannah was so bold. Hannah was so bold that she gave God alone. If you read her, her prayer, she said to God, God, I can tell that God, you're backed up in the corner. God, this is what I'm going to do. Looks like you need something. I'm going to give you alone. And you know you can never, even in the world that we live in, when you're given a loan, you have to pay back. So you know you, you're never going to give God a loan and he won't pay back. So listen to me. That is why I'm saying for the next three days, keep your ears to the ground. Seek out heaven's agenda for earth and see what role you can play in it. Are you hearing me? Those of you that want that life transforming, you know, uh, thing that you want. Keep your ears to the ground and let the Holy Ghost speak to you. Stop chasing every Tom, Dick and Harry out there. Stop going on everybody's scope. Stop going on everybody's Facebook live. You are polluting yourself with junk. Amen. You are filling yourself with junk. Stay before the Lord. And watch him blow your mind. Amen.
I love you. Thank you for standing by me. Thank you for being a blessing to me and my family. We love you. We appreciate you. You are the best family in the whole wide world. Okay? I love you so much. You have no idea. In Jesus' name, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Shalom. That name is familiar, but it looks like maybe I've not seen you in a while. I don't know if it's a brother or sister, but that name is familiar. The person who just typed Shalom. That name is familiar. That, you know, but I ain't seen you in a while. I don't know if I'm right. But I know that you've been on prayer mantle. Who is it? I know this person. I know you've been a regular. Thank you. See, who are you? Unveil yourself in Jesus' name. Who is it? <laughs> God bless you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, see, some of you think I don't know who you are. Trust me, I know. John Ramirez, Sister Brenda, I believe so. So go on Google and just type in his name. I'm sure you will get some clips of him. Reveal your true identity. Love you still. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate every single person. Jacob. Jacob, have we spoken before? Love your prayer mantle. Let the goodness of God shine upon you. Listen, some of you think there's a sister that we have in one of the islands. On here. Oh, okay. But you know what? It must be God, but I feel like whatever it is, listen to me. I don't know. Whatever it is, just be patient and hand it over to God. Okay? Be patient and hand it over to God. Listen to me. Those of you, you remember I spoke to you about John. After we found out his name is John Ramirez. Go on Google. Just listen to the brother. This is somebody who was on the other side. And he will tell you some of the things that we're not doing, that we're supposed to do. How is easy access when we don't do certain things? Okay, so uh, Jacob, please do me a favor. Trust God with all your heart, with all your soul. Trust God. Okay, trust, trust God in Jesus' name. Trust God. Trust God. That's all. Don't trust anybody else but God. He's never failed, Brother Jacob. If I start telling my testimony, we'll be here till Jesus comes. He does not fail. Brother Jacob, the fact that you can hear me, I'm in Ghana. I don't know where you are. I don't know if you're in the U.S. or in the U.K. or, you know, on the island. I don't know. But I want you to know that your trust has to be in God, ATL. Trust God, Brother Jacob irrespective of what is happening trust god trust the process because guess what he is going to bring you out and when you come out brother jacob you will look at yourself and be like i never knew i looked this good because it is god who has done it trust god and as often as you can come and pray with your brothers and sisters we're here for you okay we're here for you come and pray with us Trust God, Brother Jacob. Don't trust, listen, don't trust Donald Trump. Don't trust Obama. Don't trust Clinton. Don't trust George Bush. Don't trust your senator. Don't trust your representative. Don't trust your boss. Trust God. And Brother Jacob, if, if you want to go a bit further, try and find this song. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From when come at my help, my help come at from the Lord, the Lord which made heaven and earth. He said, He will not suffer thy foot, thy foot to be moved. The Lord which keep at thee, He will not slumber nor sleep. For the Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shepherd. Upon thy right hand. Listen to me. My help cometh from the Lord. All of my help. And and brother Jacob, if, if you're crazy like me, lock yourself in a room and watch this now. Let that song keep playing. 
I promise you, but something will happen to you in that room. If you're crazy like me, lock yourself in the room, Brother Jacob, and just let that song play. T -t Don't let nobody come and disturb you. Just have it play on repeat for about 20, 30 minutes. All of my help cometh from the Lord. Period. Case closed. Case dismissed. Amen. The Lord is my help. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Sorry I took a bit of your time. I apologize for that. I pray that you go on and have a blessed day. Okay. Remember our assignment. Uh, if one person can just send me an email, it doesn't matter if I get two or three emails, but in the exact same way as I said it, let me have it, okay? So that I can I can lock it down for myself too, okay? Thank you so much. I love you all. God bless you. Have a blessed day.